Well, Stephen, we're facing Celtic this weekend off the back of six league wins in a row. How's the team shaping up going into this one? Yeah, positive. You know, we've had a really good week. Um, we go in with a lot of confidence. You know, boys are at the, the top end of their game and we're going to need that again. You know, make no mistake, we need people to really perform. We need the squad of 18 to be, you know, at the top end of their game to go and get a result. But we're going there positive and we'll, we'll try and be as aggressive in terms of pressing as we as we can. Going to a big arena like Celtic Park, I suppose the mental side of the game comes as well. as well. How do you prepare mentally the players for that? I think looking back at the last time, um, you know, defensively as a team we were organised quite well. We had made individual errors for the the goals but what we didn't do we didn't really believe we didn't look like we believe you can talk about believe and you can say yeah we believe we can go and beat them but you know as a, as a group of, of players we didn't really go okay we're stepping from defending to attacking now um, we need forward runners we need to be brave and run beyond Celtic we need people in forward positions to be holding on to the ball taking people on 1v1 so we've we've gone in with a different mindset we're going in with a different set of form which helps confidence um, you know and we're going to give it a go what have we got to lose uh, a lot be made of the young boys as well and the lack of that they bring to the team. Going to tell about what can that do having that in the team as well? Well, I suppose they, they haven't experienced defeat at Celtic Park before. You know, sometimes a wee bit older and wiser, you, you play with a little bit of trepidation and fear and you think, well, what might happen what happened last time? There's none of that with the younger boys. They go and play. Um, they go and try and take people on. It doesn't matter what their name is, what shirt they're wearing. They're just as positive as if they were playing in the reserves. Um, and, you know, you obviously put that into perspective of what team you're playing against uh, and the realisation that is a very tough game and we need every member of the, the team to be right on top of their form. What sort of Celtic team will we be facing considering they'll have played in Europe just three days before the game? I would imagine with their squad a very strong Celtic team. You know, whatever team they put out, it's a, a top class team where you know with players worth millions and millions of pounds. So it's gonna be a, a tough afternoon, one we can't wait for. Um, one that the young players are you know really, really anticipating well, so a game to look forward to. Be 86 years since Muller won seven league games in a row. That's not a record that comes along very often. Would, what would it mean? Would it really mean something or is it kind of wider objectives, longer term objectives? I think all those things are for the historians and history books and when you leave the club to look back at that people said we broke a record of 20 clean sheets there wasn't too many people remembering that when we weren't winning games so what we'll do is work in the here and now we're in a good run of form we'll still try and keep improving try and keep the young players learning the game all the time and, and just keep developing as a football club Thanks Stephen Okay, cheers